I come down here, keep my truck key. I got a little trinkets. This reminds me of the beach, so I keep that. Last time we went to Las Vegas, <laughs> my wife bought a little set of handcuffs, so I keep those. Uh, we loaded today over in Pryor, Oklahoma. The weather is not cooperating. It is like super windy. It was raining like crazy earlier. But we loaded our first step deck load. So we'll walk around real quick, take a look at it. So remember I was telling you about either or loads that we were hauling probably either or, but this is a step deck load because of the height of the, uh, the reels there. 20 something thousand pounds so they, uh, they make you put the two inch straps on there and getting those on there was a pain in the butt they need to come up with a better system but uh, getting those straps on there kind of hard but other than that we're gonna come through now I know you guys freak out, but I deadheaded from Arizona to Oklahoma to pick up this load. There was nothing in Arizona. Uh, I tried riding with the tandems closed, see how it rode. And honestly, the trailer rides a lot better with uh, the tandems open. Uh, with it closed, it felt like it was just bouncing a lot. So it's a lot smoother ride with them open. So we're gonna ride with them open. But uh, it's noisy out here. I hope you guys can hear me, but I got to get the winch bar out, double check all this stuff. We've gone about 80 miles, so I need to make sure everything's tight and we'll get going. A hell of a time. A hell I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the farm. weather outside is still kind of nasty we're about 20 miles outside of Little Rock in a truck parking area we're uh, we still got 291 miles to go I got to take my 30 minute break so if I don't take my 30 minute break right now I only have four hours and 18 minutes and I got about 300 miles to go, which means I need about five, five and a half hours. So we're going to take our 30 minute break and then that way we'll gain seven hours. Uh, Cause we're going to be riding out through the woods. If you can see that right there. But since the weather's kind of messy outside, I, uh, I'll uh, give you a little tour of the inside of the cab. There's a Bailey. Business. So I haven't showed you much in here it's been a while but so this is my phone that I use for Google Maps uh, Google Maps is what I use most of the time for navigation and I listen to my podcast trucker path and everything this over here is my talking phone and then I got my headset sunglasses I keep a little glasses clip on the thing there for my sunglasses and then I keep another clip over here 
when I get fuel, this is where I put my fuel receipts until the end of the day. Filming. Okay. Come down here, keep my truck key. I got a little trinkets. This reminds me of the beach, so I keep that. Last time we went to Las Vegas, <laughs> my wife bought a little set of handcuffs, so I <laughs> keep those. Oh, my, my dice, we bought those several years ago in Las Vegas. This little cow, cow uh, seat belt thing. My wife found it. That was the one she used to use when she was driving a truck. She used that in her truck. I told her, let me have that. I'll put it in the truck. So just little trinkets that I keep in the truck. Of course, I got a picture of Teresa. That, wow. uh, this right here is my easy pass for my tolls. Both of those work for tolls. And then that is my pre-pass. This one here, so I press the button. That's my pre-pass for the truck scales. So that one will go off. It'll give me a red or green light. Let me press it and see if you can see it. So you see the lights light up right there? I'll do it again. So if I get a green light, it means I got bypass. If I get a red light, it means I got to pull in. This thing here is also give me a bypass. It'll tell me bypass. Every now and then these will contradict each other, but as long as one of them's green, I'll, I go. This here is a dash camera that is tied into the logbook. And if you look closely, see that little blue camera? That means it's connected. So, uh, we've been fighting the wind all day. This gauge right here is manifold pressure. I like to ride with the needle hovering right around eh, about seven, less than 10 is where I like to ride. And today it's way up here. And then last week when I had those light towers, it was way up here all day long. So this gives me an idea of how hard the truck is working. These are charging wires for my cameras. Pyrometer, that gauge right there is my pyrometer. Tells me how hot the turbo is. And then I uh, got my podcast. I listen to a radio station uh, 104.1 out of Orlando uh, talk radio that's kind of what I listen to all day it's not political talk it's just kind of regular they talk about everything which is pretty cool all these other gauges fuel gauges the left fuel tank gauge always reads low a quarter of a tank right fuel gauge always reads correct they equal out so as long as the right one i always go by the right one and then this here is fuel pressure I, I changed my fuel filters while i was at home so if my fuel pressure starts to drop down around 75 let me show you that drops down to around 75 then uh it's time to change fuel filters air pressure this one right here this is how much air pressure i'm applying to the brakes and then this is the tank air pressure, water temperature, engine oil, oil pressure. My oil pressure always runs right around 62. So keep an eye on that. There's a clock under there. Don't ever use that one. This is my load scale right there. And then it's my hour meter. So I, I did, I don't know if I ever told you guys, I put an hour meter in. So I use my hour meter more for my oil changes but that's Bailey all right we've been I've been talking for a while seven minutes I got to cut this up um, but uh, we got about 15 more minutes finish taking our break I called the customer and customer said that we can park there overnight so we're gonna park in front of their place which makes things easy it means I don't have to find a truck stop but we're gonna run through the woods back down through Little Rock over to Hot Springs, Hot Springs down to Tallulah, Louisiana, which put us on 20, and then run Tallulah over to Jackson. We're going to Pearl, Mississippi, near Jackson. I was walking out one evening late, the moon was rising high, headed for the river's side. Around this fuss and fry Patrolman, he walked by 
Ask me where I'm going Said if the sun set on me there I'd never make it home He said don't go downtown tonight There's trouble on the rise The bad men in the shadows And the bound to take you life Mind a ramble, I'll tell you how I do. Keep your money in your pocket, then the razor you shoot. All right, we made over here to Pearl, Mississippi. It's about 9 30 at night. And I have been fighting the wind and the rain all day long. Oh, it's... but thankfully I called this place here and they said I could park here. It's still raining out here. It's pretty quiet. Our load did pretty good and all the wind. Everything looks like it's supposed to be. But 520, no, 532 miles today. So we're going to unload this tomorrow morning. And then uh, we're going to make our way up to Starkville, Mississippi. But it has been a long day of fighting the wind and the rain. <laughs> 